The metal cloak goes over the stock skid plate. Rusty's replaces the stock skid plate. So we're gonna have to drop this whole entire tank down and get the stock skid plate removed from the tank so that way we can put the Rusty system in. Uh, we'll go over that a little bit more in detail and show you why they did it that way. Uh, but we gotta drop this tank down and that's the next step. So now that we got the metal cloak off and we got them sitting side by side, let's discuss some differences on these two systems. There's a lot of things that are very, very, very different, even though they're both just skid plate systems. So <clears throat> let's start with the front of the vehicle. So this is gonna be the engine skid plate system. The big differences we see right off the bat is that the Rusty's is narrower than the metal cloak system. So with that being said, you might think you're gonna lose some, uh, some coverage. And you very well are gonna lose some coverage, but we're gonna lose coverage on the things that it's kind of almost where the metal cloak failed. So we'll show you some clip here. The, the exhaust on our JL was hitting on this metal cloak skid plate really, really, really hard. So to not even have that issue, it's almost like they just avoided even trying to cover it because you know it's just gonna be a problem. The other thing we notice is that the both systems are held on the front of the engine by big brackets. And those big brackets, on Rusty's are huge gusseted brackets. On metal cloaks, they were just a big thick scrap, and that worked, that part never moved. But the metal cloak didn't have any bracing in the middle of the skid plate. The Rusty's off-road actually has big, big braces that go right in the middle of the skid plate. So where the metal cloak system, we hit it and bent it up against the exhaust, this should help alleviate that issue with the Rusty system. So it's almost like he pre-thought that all out about getting bent. So I think that's gonna be a little bit better setup as far as that's concerned. The metal cloak skid plate for the oil drain just has a hole in the middle of it, which works fine, but it does leave your drain plug exposed. The Rusty's off-road system has a hole in it as well, but they also sunk in a plate and have bolts in it to hold it. So your oil drain's not really exposed, but you do have to take that off to do your oil change. So long-term, we'll see how that holds up. If you start marring up those bolts really bad, they are Allen bolts, make sure you put some ANICs on there so they'll come out later in life and don't crank them down. They don't have to be stupid tight. So, but technically Rusty's has a little bit more coverage in that aspect, but long-term the Allen bolts could maybe become a problem trying to do oil changes, you know, especially with salt you know, attacking the bolts and stuff. So that remains to be seen as far as if that's a pro or con. So both systems are 3 16 steel. Uh, Rusty's advertises his as 3 16 Metal Cloak advertises theirs as seven gauge. It's the same dang thing. As far as finish on these two components, uh, Rusty's is all e-coated, but he doesn't powder coat them. There's just an e-coat. The reasoning behind that, because I'd asked him specifically why, the powder coating is gonna get chipped and gouged and scraped and everything, and it's gonna wanna flake off. So he went with just the e-coat, and it'll be easier to touch up later, whether you use spray paint, bed liner, anything. It doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you want. You can paint them pink for all you care. We don't really care but it'll be easier to touch up later in life versus the powder coat that constantly just wants to chip and peel off. Metal Cloak sends theirs gold zinc plated, which actually holds up pretty darn well in most climates. It's a good, durable finish. The only downfall to that is if you do want to start touching it up, how do you do that? So really the only thing you can do is either spray paint them or use a truck bed liner or something along them lines, and you lose your gold finish if that matters to you. If you don't care, then it doesn't really matter. You can just spray paint over top of it, truck bed liner, anything you want. Like I said, you can paint them pink. I don't really care what you do. I'm not here to judge you today. So that's the difference between the skid plates for the engine. Let's move over to the transfer case. We're gonna work our way back. So for the transfer case, the metal cloak system, it worked well. It didn't move, it didn't budge. Uh, we put it through some abuse and it held up exceptionally well. The rusty system's a little bit different in the fact that he includes this cross member to make the system a little more rigid where Metal Cloak put like a gusseted box across the top of their skid plate. So a little bit different as far as design. I think functionality, they're gonna come out relatively similar. Uh, they're both gonna be a quality product that's gonna hold up well for us. So moving on to one thing that the Rusty's has that the Metal Cloak doesn't, is we have a exhaust or resonator skid plate. The Metal Cloak doesn't even address that. They just leave it, they don't bother with it, Maybe because the exhaust really isn't all that important. If you damage it, it's not gonna be detrimental. You're not gonna be left stranded. It might have a loud exhaust, it might be crushed, you could even pinch it, but it's probably not gonna be detrimental in most situations. 
Rusty says, screw it, the resonator is expensive, we don't want to damage it, I'd rather put a skid plate there, so he does. And we're going to run it, because that's the way Rusty's designed it. I'm not here to argue with them and their design and engineering team. We're going to put it on and run it. And the plus, because of the aftermarket exhaust system we have, our muffler is there now. So I'd rather protect that MagnaFlow muffler. It was kind of expensive. This is where the two systems become very, very, very different. Everything else, they're kind of similar with some small design differences. When it comes to the gas tank skid plate for these, this vehicle, these two companies attack this in a very, very different manner. Metal Cloak sends a skid plate that goes over top of the stock exhaust skid plate system. Rusty's doesn't like that. Their reasoning is, is why we put the skid plate on underneath the factory one and lose extra ground clearance when there's really the stock skid plate's not doing anything any longer other than holding the gas tank. So Rusty takes all that and throws it away. So you ditch your factory gas tank skid plate and he sends you this one, which you can see is designed extremely different because now not only is it a skid plate, it's also holding your fuel tank, which is a job all in itself. So the way he attacked it is this is all wrapped all the way around your gas tank, kind of like your stock one. It's all 316 steel. It's built to just bolt right in place. So one con of the rusty system here is for your average guy laying your driveway at home, the metal cloak you could probably do laying in your driveway. The rusties is more involved. You have to take the gas tank out. And I'm not saying there isn't guys that'll figure out how to do it without taking out the gas tank. We had a full tank of fuel, we had to pull the gas tank. So that could be considered a con because it's not as easy to swap out. But if you're looking for long-term usability and long-term durability and you want the extra clearance, I got a feeling when we put this on the ground and we're gonna know really shortly, I'll include that, how much clearance we gain on the rusty system versus the metal cloak system. So that is like the biggest difference between these two systems. We got similar materials. They both have a coating of some type to protect them. They're both protecting everything. Rusty's offers the resonator skid, but the gas tank is really the biggest difference. When you look at what this Rusty's has to offer in the metal cloak, and then I'll just step off screen and grab this real quick. You bring in the fact that you also need that. So now you see there's a huge difference in this gas tank department, huge. So Rusty's is gonna give you the skid plate, gonna give us a higher clearance than what the metal cloak did, and I don't know the number on that, we'll have it really soon here. And then the other big thing we notice as far as the difference on this system, give me one of those old skid plate bolts, will you? <laughs> the big difference we notice is this is the metal cloak bolt that holds in all the skid plates. So it's captured, it's guarded so that the rocks will slide up and over it. These Allen bolts, after being in there for a year, were a bugger to get out, and Allen bolts are really simple to strip out. I already can tell you, I'm gonna love these way more. We can put a regular socket on here, still have an Allen bolt, they're not gonna wanna round off and strip out, and it's the same concept. So both companies give you protected guarded bolts. I think after any more than six, eight, nine, ten 10 months, these were a pain. We had to heat them up, be very careful. We broke bits, it was just an absolute pain in the butt. These will come out so much easier later in life. So the Rusty's, I think, attacks that a little better. The Metal Cloak worked, it did the job, I just think long-term viability, the Rusty's will be a little better. A couple other little fun facts here. The Metal Cloak system retails currently on their website for $1,200. That is the engine skid, the transmission skid, and the gas tank skid plate. The Rusty's complete kit is $1,050 according to the website as of today's pricing. I'm not saying they won't have sales or whatever. Prices might adjust with market. The difference is, is that Rusty's offers four pieces, Metal Cloak offers three. Rusty's a little bit tougher to install, Metal Cloak's a little easier. There's pros and cons every way, and I'm not telling you which one to go buy. I'm just giving you information for you to buy whatever the heck works for you. The other big thing here is the Metal Cloak system you buy is one kit all at once. The Rusty's, you don't have to spend $1,050 at once. You can order the engine skid one day. You can wait three, four weeks, a month, two months, or the TK skid. You can do Rusty's in pieces. It's like Legos, it builds onto itself. The Metal Cloak, they don't offer them individual pieces. You have to spend the whole wad all at once. So again, maybe that might not matter to you. Maybe you're working with a tighter budget and it does matter to you. So you could save a buck or two and you can buy a piece at a time. And if you didn't even want the resonator skid plate, you could save that $100 as well. So there's another thing to take into consideration. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna weigh all of this. We're gonna do it individual. We'll give you a big chart, all the weights. And we're gonna weigh every single item here, and then we're gonna see who weighs the most and who, who weighs the least. So 
You know, if you can gain a lot of clearance and it's easier to buy, but it's crazy heavy, maybe it's not worth it to you. I don't know. Those are things you have to decide. We're just going to give you the information so you can make your own decision.